Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. I got another 2022 top 10 tools. In this case, the top 10 Knipex that I got in the calendar year 2022. Uh, and these are tools that I've used. This one is out here. This is more of a prop because I, I don't use it that much. It's a little on the large side, um, but that's, that's what it's great as. It's just fun to look at. Uh, I also wanted to point out a sharp-eyed viewer the other day noticed I had called these in my uh, German and Swiss tool top 10, um, the holding function, the HFs, which were here. And these were sitting around and I remember thinking, oh, they're the holding function. These are not holding function. These are the hex plus. And somebody noticed that it had the green uh, release lever rather than the blue release lever. So this is what the holding function ones look like. Um, these are the hex plus and I have holding function um, Vera bits. So I was mixing those up, but keep me on my toes. Good eyes. Um, so let's get to it. All right. Uh, so in my top 10, I'm going to start out about uh, number 10, Knipex Cobras. Now what's new about these? Well, they are not the 250s. That's what's new. The 250 is kind of the standard. Maybe I've got one handy here somewhere. This is a 250 here. That's what most people have. But if you get one in between, and so my choice is the 300. This is the one that made the cut, but it's a tie with the 180, sorta. Because either way, going up one and going down one opens up some new worlds. So the 300 is my recommendation in the number 10 spot. And um, you're gonna see several ties here. But what do you get with the 300? You get more, more of everything without um, too much added weight and not a lot of extra length. Um, this is already on the big side. So um, what do you get on the 180? You get a much lighter, smaller, but still quite functional Cobra. I mean, most people don't use them out, you know, what they're capable of. Um, so the, uh, the number 10 here is something other than the 250. Um, in this case, the 300 would be a good start. Um, next are the Knipex, um, the kind of extended reach, long nose, or long reach uh, needle nose pliers. They make a couple of versions. Um, the only difference is the bent tip, really. If you look, they do have some uh, tricks up their sleeve. With the uh, bolt grabbing here, you've got some round um, stock grabbers, a square or a rectangle stock there, plus you've got a textured tip, goes all the way out to a finely machined end. Um, either one, another tie, one is better uh, for things where you need a bent tip, one's better for straight, that's it. Um, and I did notice on Amazon, and I put a link to it, you can get a package deal, which is a few bucks less than the individual price if you buy both. So the, the extra long needle nose pliers, all right, the next number seven spot is one of these. Um, either the, the forged um, electrician's pliers or the electrical installation pliers. The main difference here is, well, there's a couple. This, first of all, the tips are different. Get down, this is more the kind of traditional needle nose. This is a wider, almost duck bill or, you know, kind of lineman-esque or multi or, or combination plier type. The grabbing is a little bit different up in the front. This has a much more uh, versatile array of stripping sizes. It's got a smaller set of cutters that close in in this shape, you can see right there, versus this one. This one's better for Romex. And it's got, if you look at the, uh, the, the stripping end up here, that's pretty much what its limit is. You can see what it says. 0.7 to 2.5 millimeter. It's got a crimper right here. Um, this really doesn't have a crimper. Uh, this has bolt cutting. This doesn't have bolt cutting. This is chrome plated. This is not. This And you can get them with different handles, but I've got the kind of the comfort grip multi-component handle on this one and the um, thousand volt rated version on this. One or the other. Um, but I do think you should have one of them at least because they are so nice. Two would be great, but so I'm going to call that another tie. So we had, what do we have? So 10, 9, 8. So for seven, another pair of pliers, the uh, Knipex Linemans here. Big, huge cutting jaws, nice good window for viewing. You can see 
just the machining. You can easily do, uh, you know, a little bit of cleanup on the conduit. You got a grabber here. They make another version that actually has a dedicated fish tape puller, but you can also stick the fish tape in here, crunch down on that. Um, silky smooth. I mean, this is this is straight out of the box. This is what pliers should be. Um, very large multi-component handle. You got all your you know choices of handles. Um, and as heavy and as large as these are, they also just seem to work so smoothly without a lot of uh, um, notice of the weight. But they are beefy. So, you know, and those are sharp enough. You can easily ream out of that. No problems whatsoever. Yeah, this sharp there for reaming too. But wonderful little set of pliers, huh? Um, next, the Knipex Cut-X knife. This is actually a uh, standard style uh, 18 millimeter snap blade knife. So you just snap off whatever it is, um, you know, when you need a new piece. But the trick up this one's sleeve is, you know, a lot of times we do extend these out and they can snap off. They can be a little dangerous, but there's a second slider here that slides out a spine. And that spine then reinforces this. So if I back it off, you know, maybe to right there, I actually can use this as a full uh, blade here. Not a bunch of individual blades that'll easily snap. Sure, you can bust them, but um, it is pretty amazing. And, um, you know, I can easily get rid of that if I want or extend it further, which sometimes I've noticed um, if I want to use it actually to block me from reaching an end because that's pretty sharp. But that's a, a novel design, the Knipex Cut-X knife, utility knife. All right, next one. People knew this was going to be on there at some point. This is the little, um, or the 180 version, or the 100 version, excuse me, of the plier wrench uses a nice smooth design, very easy to adjust, um, and super tiny. So that had to make the list. It goes along very well with the mini Cobra, um, the 100 millimeter Cobra, but you can see with the parallel jaws, this just does some things that, that nothing else really does. Um, and along that same line, moving down, I think this is number four, is this tiny little set of combination pliers. Looks like a little alignment, but they're called combinations. It's got decent wire cutting capabilities, decent nut grabbing right there. It's got some good solid jaws. And look at that, you can get it with these comfort grip handles. So look, this is not much bigger. I mean, if you read the size, what is this, 110? This is 100. Um, and I love this kind of, this uh, multi-plier, combination plier, lineman style plier, whatever you want to call it. But this actually, uh, in a small form here, with decent bite, uh, is definitely in my top um, Knipex um, tools for 2022. Neat little plier. Links for all of these are down below if you want to try to track them down. Um, the next, how about another set of Knipex, kind of a, like a Cobra, um, but they have soft jaws. And once you start using something like this for various jobs, these are called pipe holding pliers, but I found uh, you put them under stress and this does deform pretty easily, but there are a lot of things where I don't want to risk marring the surface at all. I want to hang on to it. Um, and it doesn't have to be metal or soft metal. It can be uh, porcelain. It can be glass. It can be wood. Um, anyway, these have come in very handy for kind of delicate jobs. Um, kind of surprised me. But then they give you all of the functionality, um, essentially, and reach of the Cobra pliers. So that's my number three. Okay, number two is right here. And this particular one is the um, cable cutting pliers. Uh, these jaws, I don't know how they engineered those, but they slice through stuff uh, just with reckless abandon. You've got two choices here. You know, the thicker stuff up here, notice that it contains it. So that helps, you know, if it's... Um, any kind of a, a stranded wire and then down here if you want to cut you know the Romex style uh, whatever 
Um, they just slice right through it. Big, beefy hands. Look at the size of those jaws. I mean, just super powerful. There are a few other good cutters that Knipex has. Um, these are just amazing. You know, once you start slicing with them, you realize, I mean, they're, they're like knives. Well, they are knives. They just cut through so well with so, so much ease. So powerful. So uh, there they are. Um, these are the multi-blade cable shears. And then the number one spot is this thing. Uh, this is the 6102 200, which I've been using as kind of a nail and tack puller. Um, and because it's offset, you can just slide right in onto whatever it is that you want to nip off. You've got a good sight line right here. You can actually snip it, roll it. Um, you can pound if you needed to use it, uh, you know, to trim off something or break a staple and you just want to pound it in rather than pull it off. Um, and just the leverage on these is phenomenal. Look at that, um, that amount of lever leveraging force. I mean, the, the, the rivet up here is almost at the same place as the cutting jaws. That is just incredible what these things can do. And they're so fast to use. So if you're pulling up nails, and I do sometimes with carpet when they're doing, you know, uh, taking out carpet, trying to reclaim the wood floors on older homes, things like that, and somebody's nailed it down. These just can just pop up just by sliding along and nipping these things off. They nip nails like they're, they're made of butter. Um, so right there, these, uh, these kind of offset nippers are definitely... Um, the one that surprised me the most this year. And with that, Doc out.